now we are going to to do an api called the c2b which is somehow challenging and it's how it also took me a long time to understand it on how it works and how it operates so this is how it i have created a video which uh, it can help you understand more on how the c2b works so here we have this mpesa user this mpesa user when this mpesa user sends money to your pay bill or your short code when he sends money to a short code the mpesa um, the safari com or the mpesa where it's hosted it will check where the short code is registered so that it can send the information of the user to the registered server in form of a json response so when you send the mpesa user sends money here the mpesa uh, where the direct api is hosted or the api will check where the short code is uh, it's registered so that you can send information so all the information in form of json response will be sent here to your application server where it was registered so the uh, the data the mpesa user information like the phone number the mpesa transaction code will be sent to the to your application so here i have already created uh, i've already created the register url so this is the register url this is how you can register your server with the short code so that the mpesa app or the way it's hosted i don't know it's challenging me it will send to the application server so to register this application these are the codes or the c2b codes of how you will register the url so here it is i've already written a comment here so that you can separate from the others so here when you come here the information which is required in order to carry a register url for c2b you it's short code response type then register confirmation url now the confirmation url this is where the exact location where the information will be sent when you register url you have registered the application to send data to this url so you replace here with your urls here i've used the example then validation and confirmation url are somehow the same but the information in the confirmation url will come in form of a json now this the validation will come in form of a txt so you can save it in a txt file but the confirmation you can save it in the json file so to register the url so we have used a test credentials this is not an actual pay bill the test credential has been provided by safaricom so i you come here to your uh, jpi portal then click here to customer to business this is the c2b so this is where you can register your url then these are the links then you can click here then here when you click test credential i'm not used the uh, you can use this or you can use this let me just use this so that it, it should be not it, it cannot be confusing so let's replace it here so we can use this so we want to register this this short code so that we can get information in form of confirmation in form of json in the confirmation url then validation so here it's our confirmation url then the validation now let us register and see if we will get a successful response now let's come here to application remember the url the route let me copy this is the route that is used to register the url now the re registering uh, your application to mpesa you just need to go to the exact place where you want it to register so you can add your route then when you reload once that's that means that your app has been registered so you need to get this let us test just reload now we are registering like this server now we have gotten organization conversion id which is this then response when you get response zero it means the response is success now this server we have registered this server so that this this short code we will get the information here we, we, it means that it has been registered to this server when you reload it means you have registered that's the point i want everyone to understand so that it should not be confusing now 
when you have registered now it, whenever an mpesa user sends a successful transaction it will be sent to this confirmation confirmation url and the validation url now uh, the that, that's where you will get the information where you can store it in a database and you you can do whatever you want to do with the transaction so 